We are just setting up the shot, but check out that. It's like always the case that some doggies pee on our bike. I don't know, Bumblebee is like mistaken as a tree. So we got some leftovers from last night's dinner. Hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> got some meatballs, got some chips, got some cheese and bread. Yeah, I just cut it up and we have it for breakfast now. Oh yes. Well, it's a really late breakfast because it's already like 11.20 or something like that. Yeah, we had a really good sleep. I had a sleep score of 88. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, here you go. Are we gonna hit it? We're all right. Oh, just about all right. Just about all right. Yep, that'll do it. Watch out for the doggy, please don't kill him. He's so small. Okay, ready to rock and roll? Totally. I like that answer. <laughs> oh, wait a bit. Good morning guys, welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the town of Zestafoni in Georgia and we had a really late start to the day. A really nice relaxing start to the day you could say. <laughs> yes, oh my god, I think we were sleeping in until 9.30. Oh, 9.30? Yeah, yeah, Sunday style. Yes, we are nicely refreshed, ready to hit the roads of Georgia again. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here and today we're going to be riding first to visit the Gelati Monastery and then the Prometheus Cave Natural Monument somewhere around here before making our way down and across towards the Black Sea coast. We have two main points of interest on the agenda today. The first is a UNESCO World Heritage Site Monastery. Now I know we've seen already a couple of monasteries here in Georgia but this one is supposed to be like the monastery to see. It's called the Gelati Monastery and after that we'll be heading to a cave called the Prometheus Cave. I don't know why it's called the Prometheus Cave but I'm sure when we get there we're gonna find out more. Yes so our first point of interest is about 30 miles away. Google Maps says it will take us 45 minutes and it's already yeah 12 o'clock so better hit the road let's go. So I think I can see the Gelati Monastery up on the top of the hill there. I have no idea how we get up there. So the police officer here just stopped us before we got to the monastery which is up there on the top of the hill and he said it's it's too busy up the top so you guys have to park here. So it uh, looks like we've got a little bit of a walk now. Oh no. I'm not ready anymore for any walking. <laughs> no, we're too spoiled by Bumblebee, eh? Yeah. Bumblebee, take us to the top. So the police officer just told us that it's actually now free up there. We can take Bumblebee to the top. Bye Bumblebee. Wow, we managed to park like so close. I'm so happy that we don't have to walk. <laughs> <laughs> So in the monasteries here we have to dress up with a skirt. Luckily they have some skirts here for you to take. I'm going with a black skirt today. <laughs> it's a good look. So 
So this is the impressive Gelati Monastery. Built in 1106, it's considered one of the masterpieces of the Georgian Golden Age, the period between the 11th and 13th centuries. It's one of the largest Orthodox monasteries in existence, and at the time, it was a center for science and education. It's now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Despite the fact that we saw quite a few other monasteries in Georgia, this is the one to visit. This is the king of the Georgian monasteries. Wow, I think it's the quality of the frescoes here inside the monastery that make it really, really special. It's just so detailed. Every single wall you look at has such beautiful drawings, and I think a lot of them are original from the Middle Ages, nearly a thousand years old. Wow, some kind of view from the monastery, hey? That's a beautiful place to put a monastery. It's just so lush and green with the hills here. It's amazing. I'm really impressed with Georgia. It's a beautiful country. There's like a huge like military parade going on here or something. Look how many military people are here. <laughs> They're everywhere. So we decided probably not to fly the drone here. Mark probably would, but he's living on the edge. Three, two, one. Okay. All right. Nice little experience, eh? Hey? Yeah, definitely worth a visit. Because each monastery, you know, they each have their own thing. You know, the first one we visited, they made wine, which was really cool. <laughs> was tasty. And then the second one over the reservoir, it, but this one, UNESCO World Heritage Site with such beautiful frescoes on the inside. Look, all cars are gone now here. Yeah, everyone's gone. Everyone is gone. They've all gone off to the cave that we're about to go to. <laughs> <laughs> so now our second point of interest for the day, the Prometheus Cave is 42 minutes ride, 18 miles away. Filling Bumblebee up with some, what I think is 92 octane fuel, and it's uh, 282 per liter. And we know that it's around 330 to the pound. So it's like maybe 90 pence, 85 pence per liter. Malova. Malova. Bye bye. Uh, the charming cobbling is back. <laughs> the charming and bumpy cobbling. Yeah. Oh, look at this building here. That's yes. nice. This is nice here. Yeah. Oh, look at this place. Wow. Oh my god, this is like the first McDonald's I've seen in ages. Where? Oh yeah. 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 Hello. Parking. Parking, okay. Here? Or there? Here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Oh, look at that. Cheese. Ah, it's bread and cheese, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually a dish called kachapuri, and it's kind of like a pizza, to be honest. But it's a Georgian speciality. It's a Georgian pizza, which basically means that there's no tomato. <laughs> so, but we still have a little bit meat left over as well from yesterday's dinner. <laughs> I will just cut it up now and then sprinkle it on top of the pizza. The kachapuri. Oh, kachapuri. Sorry, it's just one meatball and then one pork thing. <laughs> and we've still got some chips left over as well. So it's going to be a feast of a lunch. Yes. Oh, wow. So the cheese is actually like kind of in the middle, not on the top. Hmm. It was very cheesy, very cheesy. 
Mm. Bye, Bubble Bee. So we've had a nice Kachapuri lunch. And now it's time to do what we came here for, to go and explore a beautiful cave. So you can visit the cave in two different ways. Either just walking or you walk for one kilometers and then you take a boat. So we decided to take the boat. Boat trip! <laughs> Descending down, down into the jungle. Into the underground. Different world here. So this cave was discovered in 1984, but it's estimated to be 20 million years old. These formations at the top of the cave are called stalactites. These formations from the bottom are called stalagmites. And when they fusion together, it's called? Stalagnites. <laughs> <laughs> So the cave has 17 halls, of which six of them are open to the public, just like this one. And our guide just told us that it's 96% humidity inside the cave and it's 14 degrees. She says that it's actually really good for people with asthma or breathing problems. It's 21% oxygen. Healthy air. <sighs> <sighs> Healthy air. Wow, it's so impressive here. We have seen already quite a few caves, but this is like really high up there. It's huge and beautiful. So you remember we were talking about the boat trip? So we get picked up here, hopefully. <laughs> Look how cool that is. That's amazing. The water is cold. Very cold. Ah, it's coming. <laughs> cool. Wow. narrow here and the captain he's just like making his way through so it's like he's really really trained his skill he's a pro yes it's so unbelievably cool oh i can see some light Wow. That was a hell of a boat ride. That was definitely worth the extra, I think, five pounds for the boat ticket. That was so cool. So cool. Back to the bike. Bumblebee's alive. Still here waiting for us patiently. It's time to get sweaty. All right. Right. Beautiful, what a place. 
What an absolutely magical place. Yeah, wow, they managed to, you know, enhance this place even more by actually when you reach a sort of a hall, they played like really amazing music. It was like, wow, I just want to have a dance here, you know, in the cave. You could do like a wedding and a dance inside um, the caves. That'd be so cool. So cool. Yeah, it was a really, really big cave system actually. And the real cave system is much larger than what we saw. We just saw six out of 17 caves and it was already like over a kilometre walk and a boat trip. Yeah, it was so worth it, so worth it. So now we've got a bit of a ride because we are heading to the Black Sea coast. The aim is that we reach today the city of Batumi, but I don't know if we will make it. It's another 90 miles to reach there and Google Maps says it will take us two hours and 40 minutes. It's now five o'clock and we don't really want to ride in the dark. But yeah, we see how we get on. Yeah, we'll ride as far as we can and then when it starts getting dark, we'll have to find a place to stay. Yes. But man, this part of Georgia is just incredible. I saw as well banana trees and cactuses, you know, it's like so sort of tropical. It's green, it's lush, there's a winding road. It's great. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Cow. Good afternoon. Good Whoa, afternoon. There's a whole herd coming down the road. <laughs> get out the way, get out the way. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's cool. Whose idea was this? Come on, own up. <laughs> oh, amazing. What is he holding there? It's like a stick. A stick to say, yep, you can go train, no worries. Oh, okay. The train driver can see it and go, oh, that's nice. That's a funny train, look at that. It's like... <laughs> it's literally a, a two carriages. Yeah. Crazy. There okay. You go. Oh my oh, lord, look at this guy. Why? Why is... It, it, I don't understand. Anyway, we are on our way. And the estimation is that we will get there just before sunset. So I think we will make it to Batumi before the end of the day. Oh, I don't like metal bridges. At least it's not raining. Yeah, exactly. But there are literally cows all along this road, just everywhere. Georgia is the country of the cows. Apparently so. Oh, this is horses. Oh, these ones are horses. Cool. Hello, horses. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Wow. There it is. We have finally officially made it to the Black Sea. Wow. It's beautiful here. Look at this building. Oh, that looks nice. It's like a castle yeah. made of bricks. So we will check out a place we found on Mapsme. It's a little bit before the city starts actually, but we run out of internet and we can't really check anything on booking.com. Okay, and 0 0.4 to the right. Here. To the right? Yeah. You can't, no? There's no road to the right. <laughs> there's, no. there's, this is the ocean. Yes, yeah, you're right. No, uh, no, I think this place must be either on the left side or it doesn't exist. Oh, okay. So that was it? Yeah, gone. Okay, so this didn't work out <laughs> as planned. So let's check out the place from iOverlander. A hostel that's 3.3 miles. Okie dokie. Maybe we are more lucky with the next place. Amazing to think that on the other side of this sea is Bulgaria. And Bulgaria is like... Still so far away. No! <laughs> <laughs> There's already Europe. Made it to the Black Sea. Do, do, yeah. do, do. <laughs> this is a milestone. This is the next sea. Yes. First it was the Caspian, then the Black Sea, and then it'll be the Mediterranean. 
Yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Getting closer and closer. Yeah, but I can tell you my bump is hurting. <laughs> oh my god. Oh look, they have a cable car here as well. Hey, there you go. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, it actually seems like a really beautiful city. Really beautiful. Look at the buildings. That looks so charming. So basically we're going left here in the hostels just up there. Oh, look at this street. Crazy. This looks like a fairy tale street. I really hope that they have parking for us. <laughs> Normally it said oh, parking for motorcyclists is all right. Okay. So, I mean, so I don't know. I guess we're going on the curb, I guess. Globus. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, I mean, you can jump off. I'll uh, stay here in case I have to go because of a car. Okay. Okay. A few moments later. So that place didn't have any parking for us. So we found a place on booking.com, which is only 2.4 miles away, just on the other side of the city. How much was that place? Uh, 16 pounds. 16 pounds? Yeah. For a room? Yeah. It's a good price. It's not bad, hey? Yeah, not I was just bad. looking like for the cheapest place. Now we've just got to try to get through rush hour traffic to get there. Right. Yep, this is it. Yeah, oh, cool. Ta-da! City view, baby. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> cool, look at that. We made it! Happy and alive! Yo! And a little bit exhausted. It was a full-on day with a lot of nice experiences. I love the caves so much. Wow. Let's try out the bed and see if it's comfortable. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not oh. too bad. Yeah, it's actually really nice and soft. Oh, yeah, this will do fine. 16 pounds. Yes, and it's so cute because she was like, oh, I upgrade you to a nicer room. And I'm like, oh, that's nice. Very this friendly. This is the upgrade. Yes. Well, there we go then. <laughs> but it's so funny because, check that out. They have a sink and a kettle and sort of like a kitchen thing. Oh look! <laughs> they have a hot plate. Yes, you could even like start cooking here. Like seriously, normally in hotels, they don't have stuff like that. But, wow. It's cool, eh? Oh yeah. Yeah, and some bread and eggs maybe tomorrow for breakfast, eh? And then the bathroom. the tiling very nice I'm impressed but anyway it was a long day and it's time for a good rest so that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time so I will show you our dinner for tonight noodles and then really cool I'm just frying up some potatoes how cool is that? I think every hotel should have their own like cooking equipment always there. I think it's great.